begin, you're gonna take your mask and put your hat on and kind of pull the elastics for your ear bands to a comfortable spot on where the hat is and just hold your finger there or mark the spot. Here is how I marked the spots on mine on either side of my hat. I just used a little pin. Next, you're gonna thread your needle. I always do um, double thread on mine and then um, tie the end. Next, I went ahead and sewed on my buttons. Sometimes when I'm sewing a button on a shirt or something I wanna stay on for a long time, I will do a really good job sewing it on. So I'll go around um, each button section a couple times. But in this case, I plan to eventually cut these buttons off, hopefully someday when we don't have to wear masks anymore. Um, so I only did it a couple times, so it was easy to snip the threads when I'm ready for that. Here is a picture of the button sewn on this side of the hat, and I just need to repeat the process for the other side. Here's a quick demo of how you can put it on. You just put it, your ear bands around the buttons and that's it. And it's super convenient for holding my uh, hat on in the wind too. The buttons help reduce a lot of the pressure and irritation that I was getting from wearing bands around my ears. So I really like this and I think it'll work well for when I'm wearing a mask that goes around my ears. I do have masks that go around the back of my head as well, which I prefer, but these are a little bit easier for getting on and off quickly. So, alrighty, thanks so much and please check out the blog post on DIYDanielle.com. Thanks, have a good one.